Hey again guys, Nails Mahoney here with another Patreon reaction to Elvis, the King. The thing about doing this Patreon is I wanted to expand a little bit and kind of explore it a little bit more, right? Uh, do some different stuff on here. And a lot of that depends on what's on YouTube, obviously, and what I can find online. Uh, I didn't want to do what everybody else does which is, oh look, here's Suspicious Minds, and pretend I've never seen it before, because I've seen it before. So I'm not gonna go, oh, he does that, oh, he does this, you know, because that's just fooling you, isn't it? That's, that's trying to fool you, and that's no good. So I wanted to find stuff that I hadn't genuinely seen before, and uh, you know, right, if you're, if you're ever looking for Elvis stuff online, it's fairly difficult. I mean, the amount of interview material out there, Elvis interviews, not a lot. Uh, lots of musical stuff, but not a lot of him candid or in, in, in talking about stuff. I did one a while back uh, where they were talking about Dean Martin being Elvis's hero. Uh, if, you, if you don't remember that, it's, it's, in, it's down there. It's down. Scroll down, you'll see it if you haven't seen it already. I thought that was interesting. And then I, I, I wondered, you know, the way you're, you're, you're kind of just contemplating things. I was walking around, I was wondering to myself, did, when did the Beatles ever do anything with Elvis? Did the Beatles ever meet Elvis? I didn't know. Uh, maybe you do. I didn't. So I went and had a look. Bing! Lo and behold, there's a video. And this is Paul McCartney talking about this. If you haven't seen this, this is good. It's very short, but it's pretty cool. Let's have a delve into it. Did the Beatles and Elvis ever meet? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. He was in Hollywood and he was renting a house while he was doing movies. And we had wanted to meet him for years. We were really like massive fans of Elvis. And we went to this house, uh, the four of us all together. It was amazing. By the way, can I just say how incredible Paul McCartney's looking? I mean, the man is in his 80s now, right? Is he in his 80s? He's not 30, let's put it that way. He looks fantastic. Anyway, let's go back. I mean, we, it was just like a dream, really, meeting Elvis. We'd fantasized about him since we were kind of young teenagers, and here he was in the flesh. And the, the, I think the most amazing things, besides actually just meeting him, was he had the first remote television channel changer that we'd ever seen. Didn't he have um, a mobile phone as well, a cell phone in a in a like a briefcase? Didn't he have one of those? Isn't he? Wasn't it one of the first as well? Then he had that he could call anybody anytime he wanted to, and that was like wow. Of course, it was back then, the seventies, early seventies. That was a big deal. He had the first remote as well. I didn't know that. Did you? Did you? I didn't know that. And again, it must have been a big deal for Paul McCartney and the guys. I mean, Buddy Holly was their influence, right? That's well known that they were massive Buddy Holly fans. So. The fact that they're meeting Buddy Holly's peer from the 50s, from the early 50s, from the bed, bed place of rock and roll. Uh, yeah, I, I, I get it. It's just, I wonder whether they prefer to meet Buddy Holly or Elvis. That we'll never know. You know, because it, you know, it, was, it was that year when they, they came out and he was just aiming it at the TV and the channels were changing. We're going, Whoa, he is indeed the mighty God. <laughs> Do you remember when uh, remotes were invented? I, I do. You don't get those gray hairs for no reason, you know. We can turn the channels without approaching this television set. So we were very impressed by that. Okay, so it's a short one, as you can see. But uh, it, it's funny, isn't it? There's Paul McCartney uh, fanboying over Elvis, but the thing he took away from it was, yeah, he's cool, but he's got a remote control. He can change the channels on the telly without having to get up. I remember the first time we got a remote control. Seriously, do I remember it was like it was like magic. It was like Merlin the magician was living inside this little box. He pressed a button and all of a sudden, how does that happen? How and what is going on here? We had no idea. Um, I wonder what who else got a kick out of meeting Elvis. Maybe that's a stream I could look at. Actually, just people who talk about Elvis. Would you? What would you think of that? People who talk about meeting Elvis and what he was like from their point of view, because everybody would have had a different perspective I suppose on him although most people would probably be a bit kind of overawed by him but maybe maybe there were a few people I wonder does Anne Margaret for example talk about Elvis I bet she does of course she does I think I might have seen it the Charlie, the Charlie Rose show is she talking about it there it's quite possible I'm going to look that up 
uh, maybe that we'll, we could do that in a, in, a, in a few more videos. Just see people talking about him as a different angle. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching another Patreon video looking at Elvis Presley and just his influence on the world and on other people. I'm Nails. Cheers for now.